So our first decision off the bat is whether to 3-bet or whether to uh, flat at uh, 75 big blinds. I, I switch it up a lot. Um, I think I could go either way. Uh, but just starting off the match, I think it's it's fine to 3-bet. And we get a flat call. Board texture of king 3-2, two, um, two, two of a suit. Um, the first thing I'm always looking at when I look at a hand is the texture. So, you know, I'm thinking of the possible hands you can have and the cards that could come and how that would affect my decision making on later streets. So, you know, I think you can basically have like any two cards at this point. Um, so just because a flush card comes or a four, five, or six comes completing some of the lower, you know, suit connector straights and stuff like that, um, I'm not necessarily going to be putting a whole lot of stock into that. In terms of our bet sizing on the flop, I think it's pretty hard to make a mistake here. Um, I think as long as we don't check, it's usually, I mean, I actually wouldn't even mind checking, so as long as we don't click the fold button, I think we'll be okay. I think betting 120 here, 140 is fine. I think 120 is a stand given. I mean, it's a relatively dry flop. Um, you know, we, we want, we basically want him to call with like crappy draws here and ace high and stuff like that. So what I'm doing with this bet size is basically trying to maximize uh, my expectation against what I think he's going to call with. And uh, it's going to be a pretty wide range, I believe, on this flop. I think when a lot of recreational players, and this is how I would classify this guy, is when they see one high card and two low cards, um, they tend to float a lot with um, any pair, ace high, and any draw. So whether that's four, six, six, five, ace five, ace four, hearts, um, and then sometimes even just total floats like jack ten. So out of all the cards in the deck, like I said, I'm not really particularly worried about anything, but I guess you could classify this as probably the nut worst card. Maybe the Ace of Hearts is worse, I don't know. Um, so we really have our first decision, a major decision of the hand, where are we going to check? Are we going to bet if we're going to bet how much? Um, I think you could do either one at this point. I don't mind going into passive check call mode. Um, I think I slightly prefer betting just because if he, he can have so many hands that have like a pair and a draw now that we can get significant value from that he's not going to turn into a bluff later on. Like if he has like a six with the six of hearts or something like that or a similar holding, um, we can definitely make a lot of money uh, by betting here. And then not to mention like any King X he can have uh, that's worse. He's obviously going to call at least one more. So because of that, um, I don't think we really get like shoved on in this turn, like unless he just has it. So whether I mean doesn't matter. Whatever I mean, as long as it's a hand better than ours, whether it's a set or flush or straight or whatever. So I picked a pretty big sizing, um, and this is basically to bet against those hands that I'm talking about, like the A6, the A6, it's four or five. Um, and those type of things. Um, I could even go bigger here. I don't think I'd want to go like substantially smaller. And one thing I talked about in my early game uh, 30 minute video in the pack is that uh, um, I like to think about what I'm going to do on different river cards and definitely watching this the biggest thing I'm thinking about is that I'm probably going to bluff catch on the river because it kind of has like two different points converging on the very end. One is that I don't think I can get value for much worse on the river unless he just hero calls with like king seven or something. Um, and then also I think he could have probably a lot of like misdraws where those hands that I talked about before that maybe he thinks won't win a showdown and or he'll uh, value town himself with a hand like a king seven when I check thinking oh my hand's always good. Um, so those two things combined is kind of determining my decision on, on whatever this river is. Pretty safe river. Um, I don't really see how that changes anything. Um, it doesn't. One thing I'm always thinking about is does this card increase the two pair combos on the river? And uh, of course, he could have queen three, queen two, stuff like that, but it's pretty unlikely. Um, 
So I think the best play here is generally against an unknown is to check and then bluff catch. Against more advanced players, I probably would be betting this river a much greater percentage of the time um, because they can call with worse. They can put me on more bluffs. They're probably better hand raiders than thinking, you know, if he has ace 10 with the ace of hearts that he, he kept betting, you know, if he has seven, five, whatever, um, in, in their eyes, my range is going to be much wider, uh, which it is. Uh, but I don't think this guy would typically know that. So he bets a size that is actually rather scary for me. Um, well, maybe it's not because it's just half pot, and I think people maybe just click that on the, on the star software when they're going to bluff or something, so maybe it's not as... I guess if you had bet like 633, that would be scarier. Um, but I don't... Based on our plan, I don't think we can find a way to check fold the river. Um, on one hand, I think most of his, like we're basically playing against his bluffs here. I don't, at this point, I, I did say he could bet a hand like a king seven on the river, but I think fish for the most part are just gonna just snap check that down. They're just so happy that uh, they didn't face a bet on the river. Um, so putting together all the combinations of hands that we had spoken about, I think it's a pretty straightforward call there. This is also a little surprising to me because I would basically view his hand as uh, a hand similar to a king seven where he would think that would be pretty good at showdown a lot, which isn't true. Uh, if I got to the river with a worse hand than ace nine, I'm probably just going to barrel it off. But um, still, I, I'm a little bit surprised that uh, he took a hand with what would normally be a lot of showdown value and uh, turned it into a bluff.